So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler Homestead. And welcome to my kitchen. Y'all know how much Miss Lori loves old-fashioned vintage recipes. And if you look real close, you might see Tinkerbell in my video today, making her appearance. She does that ever so often. But today we're going to be making an old-fashioned vintage glazed, buttermilk glazed prune cake. Does that not sound good? Well, I tell you, it's a wonderful cake. It's moist. It's got cinnamon, allspice. It has a buttermilk glaze. It's a wonderful, wonderful old-fashioned recipe. We're going to be using baby food prunes. That may sound kind of funny, but it makes really good cake. So get your pen and paper out. Get you some coffee and sit down. Rest your feet. And copy down this old-fashioned recipe to put in your recipe box. And anybody that's ever made and had this cake will tell you, it's so, so good. Simple is always best. Always give God the glory each and every day. So let's go on into the kitchen and let's get started. You know, I absolutely love making all these old recipes because it always seems to be some of the best. This is a old-fashioned prune cake. It's made with baby food prunes. Uh, you can also make them with just regular prunes. You just chop them up and kind of boil them down to the ounces that you need, and then you puree them and, that's, and cool them down. That's what you put in your cake. But we're going to be putting our baby food prunes in this cake. And I can remember years ago, back in the cafeteria in the lunchroom at school, we made this cake, and we also used the baby food prunes in it. Now, I'm not for sure how we ended up with the baby food. I guess maybe the manager went and got some. I'm not sure. But it was such a good cake. It was moist. It was just really good. The teachers and the kids enjoyed it now we didn't put it on the menu as a prune cake we put it on there as a spice cake and they liked it but this is a really simple recipe just go to the store get you some baby food prunes now anymore our baby food comes in the little square looking plastic containers i think there may be a few uh brand names that still may come in a jar um but if you go to Walmart or somewhere like that, they tend to come in the little square plastic tubs. So let's get started on our cake. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to start out by mixing. I'm going to, in this smaller bowl, I'm going to mix two cups of all purpose flour. And to that, I'm going to put one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm also going to put my spices. And I've got a teaspoon of allspice and I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now you can also add a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm just going to stir that dry ingredients up. And in my bigger bowl, now you want to have a 9 by 13 pan. Have it sprayed or, or greased. You can also do this in a bunt pan. Back in the day, they would a lot of times make a prune cake and bake it as a bunt cake. But I'm going to do mine in a 9 by 13. So in our bigger bowl, we're going to put our cup and a half of sugar. I've got one cup of oil. You can use vegetable oil or whatever your, your preference in uh, baking oil that you use. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. You know, prunes are just so good for you. And of course, we all know as you get older, prunes are very beneficial to us. But to, uh, to have them in a cake and get them into our diet, that's the easier way to eat them, of course. But this cake is just really delicious. Now I'm going to put my eggs. We got our sugar and our oil. Now we're going to put four beaten eggs in here. And just get them mixed up. Now to my egg mixture, I'm going to alternate my dry ingredients. with my half a cup of buttermilk. It smells really good. It smells like a spice cake. I love a good spice cake. They're really good at breakfast time. Heat a piece up and eat it with your coffee. Okay, now I'm going to put the rest of my dry ingredients in there and put the rest of my buttermilk. I'm also going to put a teaspoon of vanilla. And I've got eight ounces of our baby food prunes. We're going to stir all these ingredients together. You can at this point add some different kinds of nuts if you want to add pecans, walnuts, And I'm thinking I'm going to add, I've got some walnuts that I need to use up. My oven's preheated. Just went off to 350. 
I've got some walnuts that I used around Christmas time, and I need to get them used up. So I've got about a cup. That's optional. You don't have to put nuts in it. So we got our sugar, our oil, our eggs, our buttermilk, baking soda, flour, allspice, cinnamon, vanilla, and our prunes and our nuts. So now we're just going to pour this into a 9 by 13 baking dish. I have my baking dish sprayed with olive oil. Smells so good. And no, I haven't tasted the batter yet, but y'all know me. This is so good with that buttermilk glaze. And we're fixing to get started on that. Get it cooking while our cake is in the oven. I'm going to put this cake in the oven, 350 oven. And it's going to cook anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, for our sauce, we've got our pan back here on medium-high heat. I've got a half a cup of buttermilk. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of baking soda. I need about a teaspoon of water. A cup of sugar. A half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I've got a fourth of a cup of butter. Now I'm just going to let this come to a boil, and then I'm going to turn my heat down to a simmer. And I'm just going to let this simmer while the cake is cooking, and I'm going to keep an eye on it. You don't want it to get burnt, of course. You don't want it to get too dark. Just a light caramel color. You don't want it to come up to softball stage or anything like that. Now as you stir it, it has already come to a boil. Now it's just simmering on low heat. And you can see how it's already turning a, a light caramel color. You want it to get just a little bit deeper color than this, but not much. Up. It's right out of the oven. It took about 40 minutes. And I'm, while it's still hot, I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to go around the edges and just put lots of little holes in it so that when we pour this buttermilk glaze over it, it'll just soak right into this cake. Smells like a Christmas time in here. 
with all these spices. And this is a really good fall and Christmas recipe for sure. So I think that's plenty of holes in there. <clears throat> and I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but the glaze got about, I don't know, it's kind of a, a light caramel color, and I didn't go any more than that. So while our glaze is still hot and the cake is still hot, we're just going to pour that right over. Now remember not to let your glaze get to the softball stage. You don't want that. And I'm going to help this along by bringing that glaze back up over the cake. So to get in there and soak in there. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and let it soak up all this goodness before I cut it and before we taste it. And what would really be delicious too is some homemade whipped cream to go with this cake. So the cake is still warm. We're going to cut a piece and let Mr. Brown taste it. And like I said, if we had some homemade whipped cream, that would be really good. It looks pretty. It smells really good. So there is our buttermilk glazed fern cake. Okay, Mr. Brown's going to taste our fern cake for us. Good old fern cake. <laughs> it tastes like spice cake. Yummy. Yummy. Got a little bit of spice taste to it. I want you to look outside what it's a doing. Big old snowflake. Big old snow. Snowbirds out there feeding. What's well, yummy? So it just started coming down. Maybe we'll get a pretty snow. So you think that cake will eat, huh? That cake will eat. That's an old-fashioned prune cake. It was made with baby food prunes, or you can make it with just regular prunes that you cook down either way. We like, the, we like them old-fashioned recipes, don't we? I do. I like it simple and good. <laughs> I also use my old bowl and my old mixing utensils. Man, you just went old all the way. I just went old all the way. It might have been loud using them, but it's a lot of fun. So, I hope y'all try this recipe because y'all really going to like it. Simple. Well, you don't like it. <laughs> simple, old-fashioned, and good. So, God bless everybody. I don't know if everybody else is getting snow. But it just started here.